Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to hook up an ITV electropneumatic regulator with IOLINK and the PLC of your choosing. During the video, we will show you the equipment, configuration, and the steps required to complete them. In the end, we will turn the power on to make sure that everything works. Let's get started. These are the parts and part numbers that you will need to connect your IOLINK ITV to your PLC. Please refer to these tools and previous video for typical ITV assembly. First, thread the IOLINK cable into the ITV using the M12 connector. Then connect the other end to the commercial IOLINK master. Next, push the IOLINK cable onto the ISC20 using the WA2 connector as was done in its video, and thread the other end into the IOLINK master. Now, thread the power cable into the IOLINK master, and on the other end, strip the wires and connect them to the power supply accordingly. Polarity does matter. Next, make the field bus connection with the IOLINK master using this M12 connector, and on the other end, plug the RJ45 connector into the switch. To connect the PLC to the network, plug the RJ45 connector into the switch, then plug the other RJ45 connector into the PLC. Connect the PC to the network with its Ethernet port, and plug the other end into the switch. And finally, let's put power to each device, including the ITV, IOLINK master, PLC, and the switch. We need to check device connectivity. Turn on the power. And let's look for lights and communication. We have them there, and there, there, and there. Now we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we'll configure the ITV with the IOLINK Master for PLC communication and control.